spent a ton of time kind of working off the cage and some of my favorite attacks and making your opponent carry your weight, using a lot of energy. Um, we can use all those takedowns out here and we'll, we'll go back and we'll cover some of that stuff. But usually when there's not a barrier in the cage to, you know, to take their hips away, more hip attacks. When we're out in the open and you start attacking guys' bodies, they start to take their hips away and sprawl. So they leave their neck a lot more vulnerable. And we're going to work on some, some of my favorite finishes from the chokes. But right here, I just want to really think about how we're getting guys the cage. You know, we talked about, you know, bringing our body closer off the kick. But we talked about jabbing and then throwing a, throwing a short uh, straight, but not a long cross. But one where I'm covering that ground where he's got to defend. His hands are up. And as his hands are up here and I'm level changing into that body, I'm driving this guy to the fence. So a lot of my strategy and my tactic as a wrestler was to get this guy to the cage. I didn't want to do a lot of takedowns in the open. And so, but I also had to be cognitive that this guy was throwing kicks and punches as well. And so when I'm using this kind of footwork, I'm going to make him step back for me. I'm going to use this, but he's going to come maybe with a cross. Sorry. That was my bad on that. I'm at a hook. <laughs> He's gonna throw a hook. And I'm gonna come underneath it. So as I'm backing that guy up, here, here, and then he throws that hook. I've got that angle. I'm driving him to the fence. He's not gonna give his back up. He's gonna face me. And we're gonna work this pommel to where I'm into my hunter hooks, single double. Now we go ahead and throw a cross. <laughs> but I'm gonna back him up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna enter right here. This. Where my head is, I can use this to change his, change his posture. If he's straight and strong here, when I enter, I can bump that knee and put him back to the mat on his hands. If he fights to stay stay straight, I'm behind him, he throws that cross, and I'm, I'm attached here and I bump. Look what I did to his hips. But as he starts to come back up, I can just run that double. And, I let go of that double because there's a couple ways I would do that. Let's do it from this angle. So when you throw your straight at my head and I slip in here and I knock this guy down because I want to go behind him and take his back, he fixes that position.